Coming up on ESPN, Team USA is in hot pursuit of a win in the American Quarter Horse Youth World Cup in Northern Italy. We'll meet the 2000 U.S. team, which consists of 10 teenagers, and surprisingly, it's all girls. In our continuing coverage of competition, we'll see reigning, showmanship and halter, trail, and more. We return to Porto Guerrero, Italy, next on GMC America's Horse. GMC America's Horse, the international report on the world's most versatile equine breed, the American Quarter Horse. Hello, everyone, and welcome to GMC America's Horse. We're in Venice, Italy, one of the most beautiful and unique cities in the world. Grazie. You're welcome. We're here for the American Quarter Horse Youth World Cup, an event in the past that has been dominated by the United States team. This year's team is made up of 10 females, all teenagers, and all beaming with confidence. Hi, my name is Shannon Dudley, and I'm from Latimer, Iowa. Just give me, just give me an idea. Hi, I'm Jessica West, and I'm from North Olmsted, Ohio. Just don't like tilt it like doo 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 doo. Hi, I'm Katie Forrest, and I'm from Houston, Texas. That would be scary. <laughs> My name is Sarah Elder, and I'm from Maryville, Tennessee. Like the Twilight Zone? Um. <laughs> my name is Jessica Gunn, and I'm from Indiana. Hi, my name is Samantha Roper, and I'm from Hobart, Indiana. Uh, Southeast Greensburg, Indiana. Hi, my name is Amanda Clute, and I'm from Sutherland, Oregon. Hello, I'm Ryan Reed. I'm 18 years old, and I'm from Laurel, Mississippi. Hi, my name is Heather Servies. I'm from Middletown, Connecticut. <laughs> my name is Tana Brooks, and I'm from Camby, Oregon. <laughs> Youth World Cup is a competition of people from all over the world coming together to share what we know and to try to learn from each other. And at the end, we do have a competition, which makes it more fun. <laughs> all the events they have here, they have so much of a halter. Raining, Western riding. Uh, there's Western horsemanship, Western pleasure. Uh, let's see here. We have Hunter in the Saddle, Unseat Equitation. We have a versatility class. Cutting and trail. <laughs> I was, this is really annoying. Oh, well, the U.S. will win because we have hard work, determination. Well, I have to say the U.S. will win because I, I hope the U.S. wins. I know the United States will win because we have an awesome team this year. We're just good. <laughs> My specialty would be everything that everybody else doesn't like to do. My best events are probably the Hunter Under Saddle and the Hunt Seat Equitation. Showmanship and um, equitation. I'm also doing trail. And well, the most fun was cutting, but I like the horsemanship the best. I believe my best is showmanship because I love to present myself and I have a lot of poise. <laughs> the World Cup has definitely given me a better knowledge of how the quarter horse affects youth worldwide. Hmm. I hope that I make blessing friendships that I improve my horsemanship skills, and that I just meet a ton of people and have a good time. It's a great chance to see Italy. Leadership skills, teamwork, but mainly the friends, I think, is the most important. Everybody came here together for one purpose. They love to show horses. And we'll see how well Team USA shows horses we continue our coverage of the Youth World Cup from Italy on GMC, America's Horse. We at GMC are proud to sponsor the U.S. Olympic athletes who, like us, have worked to achieve higher standards. And now, during our GMC U.S. Olympic countdown, get up to 2,000 cash back on select 2,000 Sierra extended cabs. Up to 2,000 cash back on a truck with the most standard V8 horsepower and best V8 fuel economy in its class. A truck built with the dedication that makes it professional grade. Because when you're committed to what you do, it shows in the results. Visit your local GMC dealer for the GMC U.S. Olympic countdown. Community, daily news, industry directory, all breeds, all disciplines, e-opportunities, anything, anyone, anywhere. At Stablegate.com, we are wiring the horse industry. If American Quarter Horses are your business and passion, turn to the Quarter Horse Journal. Exhibitors get the latest show results, tips, and news. Breeders get reports on veterinary advances and research. Owners enjoy the ride, whether it's competition or pleasure. The Quarter Horse Journal is the most complete equine publication for people like you. Call 1-800-291-7323 or subscribe online by visiting aqha.com. Farms, stallions, service providers, 
retailers, manufacturers, e-business, e-solutions. Making the Internet your customer. At Stablegate.com, we are wiring the horse industry. Legend Injectable Solution is joint therapy that truly lives up to its name. Highly effective, Legend is the only HA joint therapy that can be administered intravenously, making it convenient and non-invasive to the joint. Legend quickly helps get your horse active again. Ask your veterinarian to prescribe Legend. Legend. It's everything the name implies. ESPN's presentation of GMC America's Horse is brought to you by the Bayer Corporation, makers of quality animal health products. By MBNA America, the official credit card of AQHA. By Real Vista Products, natural ingredients, exceptional results. And by GMC Sierra, the official truck of AQHA. Riders in the Youth World Cup are here to display their skills, but they're also constantly learning. Renowned trainers offer their expertise in workshops and clinics in preparation for international competition. The teams are all involved in eight days of educational seminars, specific discipline classes, and leadership training exercises. To get ready for an intense weekend of serious competition for bronze, silver, and gold medals, clinicians assess and align the global array of horsemanship skills. For a lot of the riders here, um, they don't do as much pattern work as we do, for example, in the United States or Canada. So a lot of the people that are learning it um, here, I think, are learning some areas they haven't done as much. So I think it's been, I hope, educational for them to see where the problems can be. A judge for 15 years, Carla Winberg has valuable experience judging international shows, including the European and Australian nationals. She's also the director of reining for the United States equestrian team. But today, she's focused on showmanship at Halter. Trot her off. Go ahead and trot her. Good. Today in the showmanship, we practice the pattern work that we'll do for the weekend. We did Saturday's pattern and Sunday's pattern. When we practice the pattern work, we tried to go over the trouble areas and where they need to do more or less with their horse. So it's pretty much learning how to maneuver through the pattern today. Slow down. Keep your hands a little slower. Do another 360. Keep going. Team Canada's coach Patty Carter has exhibited American Quarter Horses for over 20 years and operates her own professional training facility at home in Ontario. She elaborates on what else is expected of competitors during a showmanship pattern. The showmanship clinic is been on uh, teaching them how to control their horses on the ground and execute a pattern um, smoothly, precisely, with confidence and poise at the same time. Canadian Haley Dillabaugh proves that's just what she's learned with She's a Hot Investment, also her partner in a silver medal performance in Hunt Seat Equitation. Haley prevails in the second round the next day in showmanship at Halter, winning the bronze and, of course, making Coach Carter proud. Ryan Reed heads into the arena with ML Great Skipper, an eight-year-old sorrel gelding. The U.S. and Canada are dominating this event. Ryan wins the gold for her performance in round one. I had no idea, like, they played all the music. This was my first year here. And so when they started playing the music and everything, I was just completely overwhelmed that they made such a big production of it. I mean, it was, it made it so much more than, like, just going to get an award. Last week's Wrangler All-Star Jessica Gunn brings home the silver in round two with Pepe Son Del Masso, a six-year-old sorrel gelding experienced in halter and trail. But USA Samantha Roper best displayed her experience showing Rapp's little britches and came away with the gold medal. The pair also won bronze and silver medals in English competition. And Samantha is named the high point individual with 24 points in showmanship at halter. Before the competition, we had our first schooling was a little bit rough because we didn't know each other. But then once we got acquainted, she was lots better. Um, she didn't want to stick her turn at first, and she trots off with me now, and she just improved 100%. Clinicians Winberg and Carter also instruct riders in Western horsemanship. Let your eyes focus constantly on where you're going. In the horsemanship, again, more pattern work. The trouble areas in the pattern work. We'll do the patterns for Saturday and Sunday. It's their ability to communicate with their horse, not on the ground, but on their backs, and how to execute a pattern. And um, their ability to communicate with their horses and make them be, become a team player with their horse as well as with their team. Try to make it better. Yes, and your ear needs to be rounder and arc. You need to arc. Western horsemanship competition has two distinct phases. 
In a pattern of maneuvers, riders are asked to walk, trot, or lope. Then during the rail portion, judges focus on the rider's body position in the saddle and carefully evaluate how horse and rider work together as a team. Haley Dillabaugh showcased her versatility with showing different horses. Paired with Miss Coffee Jack, a seven-year-old Dun mare, she clinched the gold in round two. JBL Wish Me Love is on a roll here at Youth World Cup with gold, silver, and bronze medals. Plus, another gold, Jessica places first in round one. My horse is very well suited. He's a pleasure type horse, so we had a slow and we had a very good turnaround. Um, when we came at first, he was a little fast and all. We lunged all day, but he was. We went in there and he performed very well. America and Canada are head to head leading these classes. Lindsay Soderberg grew up in the industry. Both her parents are American quarter horse trainers. Aboard Parker Lena Reed, the team gives a bronze medal performance. But partnered with Amico Fritz, a six-year-old sorrel gelding, American Katie Forrest eclipses the competition in both rounds. Well, he's actually a rainer, so that's why I'm so proud, because we kind of transformed him into a horsemanship horse. So I was really happy. So he has the natural ability, though, to do this. That's um, the point of coming over here, is testing your horsemanship skills. So it's an honor to win the horsemanship. Spectators, teammates, coaches, and judges see how serious these riders are in Youth World Cup competition. Very serious, but you know, it's they love the horses, they're very kind to their horses, they want to do well, and it's fierce competition, I think, mentally for them. But I think they're really, I really, they really think they're into it and they're good with their animals, you know. I've seen a kindness here that I don't get to see a lot um, that I've really enjoyed. And with each other. It's been fun to see them all mix. Straight ahead, more coverage from Youth World Cup 2000. The reigning competition is next when GMC America's horse returns. College football fans, get in on the action with ESPN Game Plan. Order now and get over 100 games you won't see anywhere else. Great games, top conferences, intense rivalries. ESPN Game Plan, maximum college football all season long. Get all of the action with ESPN Game Plan. To order, call 1-800-GET-SPORTS or tune to channel 243 and order by remote control. Some people will watch anything. But for everyone else, the Total Choice Platinum Package from DirecTV gives you the ultimate in entertainment. 32 premium movie channels, over 25 great sports channels, plus over 100 general entertainment channels. When you stop spinning your wheels, order the Total Choice Platinum Package from DirecTV and do your hamster a favor. Put his cage in front of the TV. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Sports Center. I'm Dan Patrick. And I'm Rich Eisen. World's Strongest Man is next. I totally tripped through that piazza highlight. Yeah, you were real graceful in the did you know. Great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm emotionally speaking. I can't bear to watch that. I left it all on the set. Welcome back to GMC America's Horse. The population here in Venice is only about 60,000, but believe it or not, there are more than 12 million visitors here every year. And with raining becoming more of an international event, who knows, maybe we'll get a chance to come back to Italy more often. The American Quarter Horse Youth World Cup is such an educational experience for lucky teenagers that make their respective national team. It's almost like going to American Quarter Horse Summer School. Top-notch international competition awaits, but the clinics go a long way in preparing these young exhibitors for their horse-showing future. Pete Kyle was in charge of the reining clinic, and he got right to the point. Uh, it's a matter of reining where you go a lot faster, and we just wanted them to trust the horses. They have a really nice set of reining horses here for the kids to show, and uh, they just needed to trust them, find out what degree of difficulty they could take them to and just go up to that level and then come back and uh, and just trust their horse and have a nice uh, a nice smooth pattern is what we tried to teach them there and while we're focused on what the youth world cup has meant for various team members 
it has also been a wonderful experience for the American trainers that have guided the clinics. It's been very enjoyable, I tell you. I enjoy working with the youth kids, and this old group of kids uh, are really a pleasure to be around. They really love the horses, and they're hard-working kids, and it's a lot of fun to do that. The competition at the Youth World Cup consists of two rounds. Each round is considered an individual show in itself, but an overall winner is also named based on placings over the two rounds. In reigning, the U.S. dominated the first go. Alessandro Giardini of Italy did manage to win the bronze. He is a veteran for the Italian team. But the silver and gold went to the U.S. Team USA captain Shannon Dudley and Pepe Sandel Meso were the silver medalists. Shannon graduated high school in Latimer, Iowa, where she was on the all-academic team and a member of the National Honor Society. She has also found time to be the president of the Iowa Quarter Horse Youth Association. And the gold medal is headed to the Lone Star State, thanks to the efforts of Katie Forrest and Amico Fritz. Katie was the valedictorian of her high school class in Houston, and she's also pretty sharp when it comes to horses. Katie also won the gold medal in Western Riding. The international field struck back in the next round. The bronze went to Sarah Postoff of Germany. Sarah is 17. She started riding at age six and discovered the American quarter horse at age 12. The silver went to Frankie Turner of the UK, who's competing in her second Youth World Cup. And the gold medal was claimed by Kaya Morstad of Canada. This fall, Morstad is headed to Middle Tennessee State University on a volleyball scholarship. With the silver medal in the second round and a fifth place finish in the first, the overall title went to Frankie Turner of the United Kingdom. Turner has been reigning for four years. Her horse was CPR Lizzie Snap, and she knew her chances were good from the start. The first impression that she was extremely pretty. I wasn't sure how well she'd go. When I first got on her, I knew that she was right for me. I really enjoyed riding her. And just what does Lizzie Snap do best? Her circles and her spins and possibly a lead change. I mean, a lot of it, she was good in everything, but her strong points were her circles. She's very willing and guided, and she wanted to move off my leg when I asked her to. She was really good. And you have to give a lot of credit to Turner, as she beats the U.S. and the world at the hottest international equestrian game going. I'm happy. It really paid off. I've worked hard, and I worked hard to be here, and I'm happy with how I've done. Really happy. So. I mean, we're only just learning this game. It's new in England, so we're building up, and we're really good, really proud of how we've done. Still to come from Italy in the 2000 American Quarter Horse Youth World Cup, we'll see how well these teenagers can follow a trail. GMC America's horse is coming right back. This is hard for me on a real good horse. So don't panic. Community Daily News industry directory all breeds all disciplines e opportunities anything anyone anywhere at stablegate.com we are wiring the horse industry it's one for the money two for the show carry the aqha racing or designer mastercard and enjoy a new standard of excellence issued by nbna america sponsors of the nbna america racing challenge and the youth world championship show the aqha racing and designer mastercards are the class of the field with winning benefits just for you on your next purchase show them the only cards good enough for america's horse call 1-888-840-aqha to apply for the nbna america racing and designer mastercards Farms, stallions, service providers, retailers, manufacturers, e-business, e-solutions. Making the Internet your customer. At Stablegate.com, we are wiring the horse industry. Only three days till the X Games. The X Games, Saturday at 2.30 Eastern, 4 Pacific on ABC. GMC America's Horse is presented in part by MBNA America.
Welcome back to GMC America's Horse. The job of the gondolier is a special one here in Venice. The art of negotiating these intricate canals is passed on from father to son, generation after generation. The trail horse competition is also about detail, and that's where we'll resume our coverage of the 2000 American Quarter Horse Youth World Cup. One of the things you have to consider in the Youth World Cup clinics is the language barrier. So we don't want to be looking at the pole we're crossing. That's going to be your biggest mistake, is looking at the pole you're going over. Trainer Nancy Cahill didn't see it as a problem when she held court in the trail clinic. I didn't even have an interpreter for, say, the people from Chile. They understood, you know, on the first deal when I was explaining everything. Kenny stood there and talked to them and, you know, and told them what I was saying. But when we went one-on-one, -on -one, they knew exactly what I was telling them to do. Trail is an event that requires a clear-cut strategy. So you want to open it up and make sure that his head clears the pole. If my hand's his head, he can make that turn. Language barrier or not. The trail is a precision event also, and it takes great guidance on the horse's part. And you want to make it look easy, like any event. You want to make it look as though there is not a problem. You know, you and the horse know exactly where you're going and what you're fixing to do. Cahill's advice makes sense. Don't look back. The key to winning is what lies ahead. So first, I was trying to teach them to guide it and to look up. That's a universal call. You want to look at what you're crossing. You're already there. What are you going to do about it? The only thing you can do something about is to look ahead and plan. And that gives you uh, some area with which to fix a, a mess that's fixing to happen. You know, you can feel it coming. If you've got a little more distance, you can fix it and at least smooth it out. The medals went to exhibitors that didn't have any messes waiting down the road. In the first round, Catherine Merrick of Austria won the bronze, riding half bar jewel. Her favorite discipline is reining, but she also has a knack for the trail competition. The silver was earned by Jessica Gunn of Team USA. Gunn continued the charge for the U.S. She was the 1998 GMC High Point All-Around Youth. She is a true AQHYA warrior. And the first gold medal in trail wound up around the neck of Italy's Daniel Cozo. Riding Miss Zanzazip, he beat the course and the first wave of competition. This is the second Youth World Cup for Cozo. In the next round of competition, Jason Routledge of Canada and Parker Lena Reed won the bronze. Jason hopes to someday win an AQHA Supreme Championship. Alessandro Giardini was also impressive in this round as he won the silver medal for Team Italy. And the gold medal winner was Fena Elzinga of the Netherlands. Elzinga lives on a farm with 14 horses. She was a non-competing member on the Netherlands team in 1998, but she has earned her way in 2000. She was a gold medalist in Western Pleasure, where she also won the overall. The overall and trail, however, was far from cut and dried. Daniel Cozo and Jason Routledge finished tied with 20 points each. The tie was broken by a tiebreaker judge drawn at random. Daniel Cozo won the tiebreaker, leaving Routledge in second place. Well, maybe it's all top. It was a good horse, very good rider, and sometimes you need luck to win. Still to come, a visit to the after party. Tracy Wilson will look back over two incredible days of international competition. GMC America's horse will be right back. It's called Porto Cruado. We at GMC are proud to sponsor the U.S. Olympic athletes who, like us, have worked to achieve higher standards. And now, during our GMC U.S. Olympic countdown, get up to 2,000 cash back on select 2,000 Sierra extended cabs, up to 2,000 cash back on a truck with the most standard V8 horsepower and best V8 fuel economy in its class. A truck built with the dedication that makes it professional grade. Because when you're committed to what you do, it shows in the results. Visit your local GMC dealer for the GMC U.S. Olympic countdown. information on the American Quarter Horse Youth Association, contact AQHA at 1-800-414-RIDE or visit us on the World Wide Web at www.aqha.com. 
And today is here to wish good luck to all the ESPN.com Fantasy Football League participants. Go you guys. Beautiful. It's ESPN Fantasy Football 2000, the classiest fantasy football on the internet. It's primo. ESPN's presentation of GMC America's Horse is brought to you by GMC Sierra, the official truck of AQHA. By the Quarter Horse Journal, the official publication of the American Quarter Horse Association. And by the Bayer Corporation, makers of quality animal health products. When the competition at the 2000 American Quarter Horse Youth World Cup came to an end, the celebration just moved on to the awards dinner. All 13 teams, along with coaches and entourage, were in attendance. After a week of clinics and three tough days of competing, team members could finally relax. Germany and Canada got off to quick team starts. Germany faded, but Canada held on to finish third in the final team standings. Italy rallied on the second day to slide past Canada in the second place. And it was Team USA that took the lead midway through the second day of competition and never looked back. Coach Nancy Cahill and company continued the run of success for Team USA in the Youth World Cup. But watch out, the world is coming. The competition just continues to improve, and who knows what will happen when they meet again in 2002 in Amarillo, Texas. But that's still two years away, and there are too many good memories to share from Italy. Here's Tracy. Riders in Youth World Cup 2000 are taking great memories home from Italy's Veneto coast. Team Germany best sums it up with a song. We have been thinking about what we're going to do for a skid. And then we, Max is uh, daddy, he's a professional singer, or however you call it. And we just asked him if he can uh, write us a song about where we're going and about the Youth World Cup. Yeah, it's very great that we have our own song, and uh, I hope everyone likes it. There is a small town in the heart of the Veneto, a really lovely, charming place. It's called Porto Cuaro. There you meet a lot of friends from all around the globe. They come to win the Youth World Cup and they are full of hope. But basically it's more important to take part in the show. To be in the arena and to let your horses go. Bets are made on horseback only. We don't feel okay if that would be missing. The whole life wouldn't pay. Here we are, we go, we go. We come from Germany to keep the good times rolling. Here down in Italy, the Youth Quarter Horse World Cup is where we long to be. And so we came here all the way from everywhere in Germany. I've made so many friends, all different countries. Just, it's been absolutely wonderful. The more exposure the event has, the, the more involvement we have with, uh, with people internationally. I think the number of countries is going to grow. For me, it's so far the best World Cup we've ever had. Nice program and a whole lot of fun. Thanks, Tracy, and thanks to everyone in Italy that made our stay truly memorable. Just a reminder, the AQHA is also teaming up with Bayer Animal Health for the best Ramuda tours. Trainer, author Joe Walter of the Four Sixes Ranch will lend his non-confrontational techniques to the clinic. It's a great educational opportunity for families, ranch employees, and horse lovers. The AQHA will have more information. On our next GMC America's Horse, we're headed back to the United States and Fort Worth, Texas for the summer cutting spectacular. Join us as we get back on the trail of the best four-year-old cutting horses in the world. We'll highlight the open competition. For Tracy, I'm Jeff Metters. So long from Italy. We'll see you next week on GMC America's Horse. For more information about American quarter horse activities in your area, call 1-800-414-RIDE. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sport. For more, log on to ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, go.com. <laughs>